Today we're diving into one of China's most fascinating creations. They look like dogs, but they're built for modern warfare. If you think that sounds like science fiction, just wait. Behind this project lies years of research, funding, and quiet ambition. These robots are part of China's expanding military AI ecosystem. Officially called Quadruped Combat Support Robots, they serve under PLA programs. Their purpose is to replace humans in dangerous or exhausting missions. From mountains to cities, they're designed to operate almost anywhere. The first models appeared in Chinese defense expos around 2020. Videos showed them walking beside special forces in joint exercises. Soldiers trained alongside these machines during live fire simulations and drills. Smooth movement and weapon-carrying ability immediately drew global attention. Their design began in private firms like Unitree Robotics in Hangzhou. Early Go-1 models were commercial, built for research and delivery use. Later versions were adapted for tactical and defense applications instead. Partnerships between private engineers and military labs sped up progress dramatically. Each unit mimics the anatomy and balance of a real dog. Four articulated legs give them stability across uneven, rocky terrain. They can climb stairs, cross rubble, and balance under heavy load. That's a huge advantage over traditional wheeled or tracked vehicles. Remote control merges with onboard artificial intelligence autonomy seamlessly. An operator sets routes, objectives, or activates fully autonomous mode. In that mode, the robot detects and avoids obstacles automatically. Computer vision algorithms work through multiple cameras and LiDAR sensors together. Inside the frame are processors with serious real-time computing power. They analyze sensor data constantly to adapt to terrain changes. Even in low light, infrared sensors give accurate visual awareness. That's why they can operate day or night without supervision. Power comes from high-capacity lithium-ion batteries in modular packs. Most can run two to four hours before a recharge. For longer missions, swappable batteries allow near-continuous deployment. Some prototypes even test built-in solar charging on extended patrols. Their primary roles are reconnaissance and logistical field support. They can carry ammo, food, medicine, or small equipment crates. In contaminated or high-risk zones, they act as scouts. That reduces human exposure and speeds up data collection dramatically. More strikingly, some versions are fitted with lightweight firearms. Footage shows automatic rifles mounted on stabilized upper frames. The intent isn't autonomous fire. Humans still make decisions. They exist to back infantry units during controlled tactical missions. Secure communication links keep them connected to command networks. Encrypted radio or satellite systems prevent interception or jamming effectively. If the signal drops, they enter a safe halt standby mode. That feature stops hacking or unauthorized remote control attempts. In urban environments, their importance grows even more dramatically. They can patrol hallways, basements, or tight corners efficiently. They help locate hidden combatants or dangerous explosives before troops enter. Video feeds transmit live situational data straight to command centers. In PLA field drills, robots often team up with aerial drones. Ground bots move below, while drones map targets from above. Combined, they deliver full three-dimensional situational awareness to troops. China calls this Integrated Human-Robot-Air Combat Coordination. Their bodies use lightweight alloys and carbon fiber composite panels. That balance between strength and weight ensures rugged field performance. They're resistant to dust, water, and extreme heat or cold. Reportedly, they function between minus 40 and plus 50 Celsius. Heavier models like Mechanical Yak focus on carrying supply loads. They can haul up to 40 kilograms across rough ground. In remote mountains, they replace mules or human porters effectively. Stable motion makes them reliable assets in long endurance missions. 
Smaller units are meant for rapid recon and short deployments. They're lighter, cheaper, and ideal for urban or indoor tasks. Their communication range is limited, but swarm coordination is possible. Several minibots can form one synchronized autonomous patrol network. China's broader strategy emphasizes autonomy in future warfare systems. The goal is to let robots handle basic threat identification independently. That means recognizing patterns, movement, and sound without operator input. Such capability remains experimental, but development continues aggressively. Ethical debates naturally surround the arming of these machines. Experts warn lethal autonomy must always stay under human oversight. China insists all armed prototypes are still manually operated today, but global concern over AI warfare keeps rising each year. Technically, production costs remain high but keep dropping steadily. Mass manufacturing could soon make these robots widely affordable nationwide. Civil uses like firefighting, rescue, and disaster response are envisioned. Those peaceful roles might improve their public image considerably. The future roadmap combines quadrupeds, drones, and integrated AI networks. China aims for a coordinated land-air system with seamless intelligence. This smart battle grid may redefine ground warfare forever. Beijing clearly intends to lead not follow in robotic combat. Globally, quadruped robots have become a defense industry arms race. Every major military wants faster, tougher, and smarter ground companions. That competition is blurring the line between robotics and warfare. The march towards semi-autonomous armies now seems almost inevitable. China has taken a major technological leap forward not just to showcase power, but to transform battlefield logistics entirely. Four-legged machines might soon replace human risk on dangerous ground. But one question remains, is the world truly ready 